just take a look around me. I'm in one of the most remote human habitations in the world. I'm a little village called Fontaine House in the western edge of the western island of Cape Verde itself off the west coast of Africa. The most western African country, although not on the mainland of Africa. Cape Verde is named after, somewhat ironically, Cape Verde, Green Cape, which is the westernmost point of mainland Africa in Senegal. That way. And I was there a couple of weeks ago watching the sun go down. If I were to go that way, it's the Atlantic Ocean. Next stop is the Americas. Now, Cape Verde was uninhabited until the 1400s, the 15th century, when the Spanish and the Portuguese tiddly bopped along here as part of their great exploration. And this was at first known as the land where the world ends. And if you think back to the days when people thought the world was flat, this is it. This is where the world ends, the last bit of known land that you get to, and you look that way and all you see is ocean and you can imagine at the horizon's edge the great big waterfall as the Atlantic Ocean flows off the side of a flat earth. It always made me think, where did those people think the water went? Anyway, Cape Verde is a chain of volcanic islands just stretching their little cliffs out of the ocean. No rising out of sand bottoms and and coral reefs straight off from the very deep ocean floor. Now to get here, to get to Fontaine House, I had to fly from the Canary Islands, two internal flights, then a barge across from one island to another, then a long drive up a big mountainside around an ancient extinct caldera of a volcano, down these steep cliffs, and then into a little town called Ponto del Sol, which has one of the most isolated airstrips I've ever seen, but it's not in use, so it doesn't count on my video. And then I had to walk a couple of hours along these remote mountain trails, staring at the Atlantic Ocean below until I came to this remote human habitation. And dotted around here, built over the last couple of centuries, are these incredible terraced farmlands. Tiny little scrapes of land carved out on the edge of these very, very steep cliffs. And you just had to wonder why people went to all the effort to do it. But it's incredible, the places where people decide they're gonna live. And this is one of those places. Modern day Cape Verde is trying to expand its tourism industry, trying to get people to come here. And if you're after a holiday, a place to come in the middle of nowhere, to get away from it all, although you still get mobile phone signal and internet, but this is the place to come. Cape Verde, western end, western side of the western edge of Africa.